Bonjour Paris. Good afternoon everyone. Thank you for coming. Um, I'm Marcillo. I'm from from Sencilla. Uh, who here have heard about Sencilla? One, two, three, five. Yeah, some new people here. Yeah, this, uh, I'm glad to, to be here to share with you some some thoughts about what what. Hello. Uh, I'm glad to be here to. Let's try again. Yeah. Well, talking a little bit about Sencilla. Uh, but I am a co-founder and I am in charge of the international expansion now. Sencilla is a Latin American company, uh, very specialized in API uh, strategy through the API platform and our specific professional services that we use to help our clients uh, to prepare the business and the technology to be ready to API journey, okay? Uh, actually, uh, we have some offices in Latin America, in London, and we're starting a new office here in France. Uh, the, the big difference between Sencilla and the market is about our professional services because uh, we are not a, a generic company, we are a very specialized company, we just to do the, to do Inca strategy and we have a, a pre-built uh, professional services packages to help some industries like open banking, uh, open insurance, uh, retail use, etc. Okay, uh, Sencilla is recognized by Forrest and Gartner as visionary and leader, and Forrest has a, a really nice report uh, talking about strategic services through APIs. It's not about platform, it's not about consulting, it's about full professional services with API strategy. And Sencilla was recognized as a leader in that case, okay? So, it's about Sencilla. Uh, uh, my, my subject here, it's pretty, pretty uh, important for, for us and on the API world. But first thing is, I'm not going to talk about API business model, okay? Uh, the point here is how APIs are helping the revenue stream, the growth revenue stream in business through API strategy. Uh, it's not, I, I'm not going to talk about how I can buy it data using API. I will not talk about how can monetize an API. I will talk about a different business that have improved your growth using API as a platform, okay? Uh, real success stories. In three kinds of stories. The first one is about partner ecosystems. Some companies have improved their revenue streams using API with velocity to improve revenue stream. Another companies are using APIs in digital experience to get the intelligence to understand the behavior of the network, the behavior of the, the, the ecosystems, okay? To have more revenue streams. And I have uh, one real story about uh, banking from Latin America that changed the business strategies and revenue growth was incredible, okay? But uh, after the jump to the, the next the, the, the points, I would like just to share with you a very important concept for me. It's about three platform styles. When, some, sometime when, when it was talking about API, when we were talking about API, you just think about API on talking to it. But no, we can use APIs to provide three kinds of platform. An internal platform, a restricted platform, and a public platform. When I talk about internal platform, is when I expose API to myself, to my developers, to build my own digital platform. <coughs> we have a lot of such stories about it. The second one is when I open the, the APIs to restricted partners, to be more faster, to reach other clients, to improve my network, it's a worldwide platform. And the last one is about I will open API to ecosystems to become more innovative, open innovation, etc. Some examples 
Uh, on the Silicon Valley, we're talking about Uber as a public API. Everyone can, can develop an app and use API from, from Uber. Amazon, you can use API, but you need to be a, a seller to sell your, your, your stuff in, in Amazon. And Netflix is a very famous API. But on Netflix, just Netflix use this API, okay? You have a lot of some clients from Syncedia like Boyer, Evanhead, Natura that are using APIs just to bring to, to, to developer their own apps using by themselves. We have another companies like Via Varejo, Netshoes, Portocrat using APIs to be more, uh, to position themselves as like an ecosystem. And the last one is to open innovation, okay? So uh, usually we wish to talk about three styles of, of positioning through APIs. Well, uh, let's the first first case is about how or which company is improving the revenue through ecosystem. And the point is velocity. The key benefit from APIs and this point is the velocity. Uh, I'm not sure if you have heard about uh, Via Varejo. Via Varejo is a subsidiary from Casino for France. Uh, it's a really big company in Latin America, the largest e-commerce in Brazil. Uh, Via Varejo opened a marketplace to sell other products uh, in e-commerce. They used API to do that uh, faster. Now Via Varejo has more than 4,000 stories selling products inside the e-commerce. Via Varejo has more than 24% of your revenue growth it's, it came from marketplace. It came from all the products from another sellers. They increased 20 times the number of products available to sell. Much more traffic. The integration time with APIs, before APIs was six months, six months today it's less than one week. It's more uh, difficult to sign the contract than to integrate the platforms. Uh, using the right developer experience, the right developer portal, the policies, the tools, Via Varejo in less than one year achieved more, integrated more, 4,000 stores selling products, improved 24% of their revenue. In the market, uh, I'm not sure if I have one on from retail here, but it's a, a market with small margins. So it's very representative, okay? So we talk about with partner ecosystem, sorry, with partner ecosystems, many more products and 25 plus revenue. And the second one is based in ecosystem too. It's about Porto Credit. It's a, a Latin company focused in credit and investment. And in this case, PortoCAD used API to sell the products from PortoCAD from Porto in other sellers, in the opposite way, you know? Let's see. They make a strategy for provide the financial services in resellers, and people can contract PortoCAD uh, services using different sellers. Portocred is selling some services inside the competitor sales. What's the thing? The integration time using API is 16 times faster. The developer uh, of core integration with partner and they create a credit marketplace. If you would like to sell credit, you can integrate with Portocred in sell the Portocred services in your site, and you have a, a, a revenue stream there. So they use a partner ecosystems to more sales channel and partnership model to improve the revenue. We we are talking about using API not to sell products, but to achieve more sales channel and to be ready to achieve new customers. This is a, a, a game change from from Porto Credit. Yeah, uh, I would love to share more deeply uh, about these stories, but we don't have time to, to get, go deeper. Uh, 
so we can talk after the presentation or the Cintilla Wolf will be out loud to this. The second one is improving revenue through digital experience. And in that point, the API has provide intelligence. You can understand the back ecosystem's behavior. You can understand which kind of channel it's having its buying products at night. What, what kind of product or what kind of channel is just consuming products but they don't use to, to buy. You can understand the behavior. In this case, the API is not to connect, it's to control, it's to manage, and to provide a good digital experience for your, channel, for your channel and your partners, okay? Natura is the largest uh, beauty company in the Latin America. They bought Body Shop from the UK, and they bought Avon, Avon from, from US. Uh, Natura is a very technical, uh, matric, have a, a good matric technical in, in APIs. Uh, together we built an analytic dashboard to track API consumption and user behavior. And we can create, we could create a new digital, digital experience for the, the clients. Look at that. They are using GraphQL, very technical thing, more than two billion calls per month, and third five of revenue growth through the new experience using API. For instance, using the analytics, the analytics, uh, API analytics, uh, Natura could understand, uh, for instance, the final consultants, uh, Natura used the, uh, the resellers, uh, the, the one, one million of women in Brazil have Natura as a second job selling products for your personal network. So this kind of seller, 8%, 8%, 8-0% of total selling was between 8 p.m. and 9 p.m. Natura observed that because 8% of API calls from closed sales was consumed by that channel between 8 p.m. and 9 p.m. What Natura do? Or what Natura did? It started to sponsor TV programs during this time. Because at this time, the, the women that were selling the product used probably stay at home <coughs> watching soap opera in Brazil. So Natura started to sponsor every soap opera during that time. And could observe the... Natura started to launch new products in the soap opera. Natura contracted the new actors to launch products during soap opera and can observe the change of sales cycle during that time. It's not about integration, it's about control. It's about intelligence. Okay, but uh, we can observe that uh, we have a lot of, of sales happening in, on the morning. But which channel is, is providing the sales? Oh, it's a call center. Okay, the call center guy is not watching TV. It's not, uh, I need to, to think about another kind of campaign to reach this kind of user. But I just will know about this behavior if APIs for me is not the, the plug, is the portal, is the intelligence. So it's very, very intelligence movement from from to Brazil. This is a this is actor launching some products on the TV show. So through digital experience, we can create we could create frictionless experience from from users and customer custom market campaigns to improve the revenue in 35 percent. Okay, so one other thing that we observe uh, APIs providing for our, our clients is about improving revenue through business strategy. That I love it because we are talking about the strategy. Uh, before the, the story, I would like to share that it's very important to understand that before I started the API design, you need to understand why I, I use APIs. For instance, who here is from a bank? 
Yeah, everyone thinking about open bank now here. But why are you, are you positioning it as open banking? It's just about regulation. In my opinion, uh, the companies that we are talking about open banking just because of regulation are late. Because regulation, okay, it's important, but there are a lot of things that are, that are changing the revenue stream, creating new products through APIs. And by the way, open banking. Uh, before we start to design the API, we need to think, why, why, what, which business will use my API? Well, which audience will my API will have? For instance, my API is from developer for my own company. Thank you. Yes, so it's not so important the API portal. It's important to scale because a lot of tests of... Uh, Okay, but my API we use for partners, so it, it's important to have different kind of, of authentications because each partner has their the own authentication model. No, no, I will use an open API. Okay, so I will provide a good developer portal, the best developer experience. We are, we are not talking about design and technical stuff. We are talking about strategy. So the first thing when I start starting a real API problem is which business we use, which will be my audience, which, which kind of, of business I would like to run mainly using APIs. Because these questions will provide some, some points that will influence your API design, your API growth, and your API operation. So since you provide this framework about API decision, the API strategy. It's not about this tool, okay? So, this is Topazio Bank. Topazio is a leading bank of service in America Latina, providing a digital transformation. Uh, be positioned at, uh, as a digital banking as a service. Uh, Topazio declined to attend the final customers. It decided to attend just fintechs and use fintechs to sell the final product. Love to you. The first bank in Latin America to use API and current exchange. One example, every payment in Spotify in Latin America, every payment in Latin America is used the, the pay, Spotify, use Topazio Bank API. Users don't know about it, but they, they are using Topazio Bank API. Some numbers, they have a new architecture, the new products used to, to expand more than one year, now, then one year, now it's less than three months. More than seven fintechs. The number of contracts signed per month was 120. Now, it's 50,000 contracts a month. The revenue was about 40 million before using fintechs and API. Now, they are 500 million dollars of revenue. It's a game change of the business in that Topazio Bank. Without APIs, he couldn't reach, couldn't reach the 70 fintechs. And now they are using the 70 fintechs to move $40 million to $500 million of revenue on the same product. The same product. So, when I talk about business strategy, we're talking about launching new products and change your business positioning. At this case, we have 1,200, 200% of improvement there. This is a real game change for, for the positioning. Yeah, just to finish, uh, some bad news. Yeah? We have some dreams about business strategies, digital experience, and partner ecosystems. What holds you back on that strategy? A lot of things. Some business problem, I don't know my ecosystem. Some technical problems, I, I'm, I, I'm, I'm not sure about the security issues. Uh, some people problems, uh, anti agile future, a lot of problems. And now the good news is, since EJ was created just to resolve this kind of problem. 
Sensija is not a, 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 a consulting company. Sensija is not a company that can create apps or can create a backend. Sensija is positioned just to resolve the problems between you and your digital strategy through API strategy. If you're really serious about API, it's not about just plug, it's about strategy. Yeah? Uh, I would love to, to talk a little bit more. This QR code, you have access to uh, uh, a playbook from, from digital and design APIs. And I will share the presentation. And every stories have more material, some videos. Uh, who will be interested? I, I, I can introduce you to the clients, uh, the banking, the Natura. It's, I, I will play, I will be a pleasure to, to introduce you to talk with the, some, some, some such stories with the real provider of the stories. Uh, I own the booth. The first booth on the first floor. Uh, we have coffee now, so I would love to talk with you a little bit more about the stories, about Cecilia, and about about wine, about soccer, what we talk. Football, yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you.